Hi, I'm Derek, and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you're learning about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, a while back, I did a video on how to replace a mow and shower cartridge. And in that video, quite a few commenters asked me, how do you remove a stuck cartridge? Well, I'm gonna show you three tools that will help you in how to remove that cartridge. And then hopefully you can make a buying decision based off of my examples. Now, what this video isn't gonna be about is how to replace the cartridge. If you wanna see that, like I said, I did a video, I'll either link it up here or down below in the description, and you can watch that. This is just to show you how the tools function, and then, like I said, the pros and cons. So with that said, let's get started. So if you're not aware, um, when you get a new cartridge, Moen also supplies this little white piece. Um, what you're supposed to do is actually slide this onto the cartridge and then take a pair of pliers and then work it out. This piece is useless. I would never use it, so just get rid of it. All right, so the first tool we're gonna use is this Moen cartridge puller. Danko makes it as well. They're just a third-party vendor that makes them as well. Um, they're both about the same, so it doesn't really matter. One little tip though for the cartridges, Danko makes a third-party one of these. Never get those. Always think with genuine Moen products. Trust me, you'll, uh, you'll thank me later. Um, so basically with this tool, you'll see it has these two little teeth on there. You want to make sure that they're protruding out a little, so you just kind of back the nut out a little bit until they're protruding out. And then I've already backed out the screw enough that I can line this up, just put the teeth around this white piece and you just slide it in. And then all you have to do is screw this screw into that brass piece that's sticking out. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is in my first video, I kind of didn't use this tool to a full, its full potential. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I left out from the first video and how it makes this a little bit easier. So it's pretty much tight enough here. So as long as it's securely on there, at this point, I'm just gonna tighten this down so it's pushing against the pipe. Okay, we're good. Now we're gonna need another tool. So now here, this is where I kind of um, didn't explain it very well. So here, I just started twisting and pulling, but if it's really stuck in there, that's not gonna work too well, and you're gonna end up pulling the pipe inside the wall. So you wanna take a wrench, and then you wanna work this in. And then the more you twist it, so the more you twist this, um, you screw this into the brass piece. This nut right here is pushing on the pipe and this, it's slowly pulling out the brass piece. This is all you have to do. Now it will only go so far, but as you can see, there's the little white piece right here, it's already out. So at this point I could pull it out or I could keep trying to twist it a little bit more, but um, it's, no, it's pretty much further out. So at this point I would just twist and pull, twist and pull. Uh, for testing purposes, I don't wanna take this all the way out because I still wanna test the other tools, but um, this is basically how it works. And then it'll just slowly work it out until it's unstuck. The one thing that I do wanna explain about this is this is the cheapest of the tool as far as materials and just cost. It, it's not really made out of strong material. It's not made to last. So if this thing is really stuck, um, I don't know how well this will hold up over time, but um, for just uh, normal use, it's fine. Um, but if it's really stuck, this may be a, only a one-time tool. So that's it for this one. So next we have another tool. It's called the Una or Ana Puller. Um, the cool thing about this tool is it's two tools in one. That's a tongue twister. Um, I, I actually like it a lot for that feature. I'll explain to you as we go along. So with this, it comes in quite a few different pieces, but um, it works pretty much the same as the first puller. So what you wanna do is first take these two pieces. You're gonna take this piece and actually screw it into the brass piece like we did before. And this piece um, kinda has some grooves. So you slide it right over the white piece here and you slide this in. <laughs> and you just put it in right here. So the one thing about this is, this one is a manual process. You're using your own power, just like the first one. And then this one has this little handle. And right here, you put this handle in and it's threaded. So you just turn it around until it slides into place and you just keep turning it. And then like the other one, it's working off the same concept. Um, this outside piece is pushing into the pipe and then this piece is pulling the cartridge out as you push this against the cylinder. It 
takes a minute. Okay, now I have some resistance, I have it in place. You just keep pulling it. And this one is pulling the cartridge out. Like I said, I'm gonna stop. But the only thing that I don't like about this is if it's really, really stuck, as this one is not. If it's really stuck, then you're working off your own force to kind of crank it and get it out. So that's my only drawback. But now let me show you the other piece, um, the other tool to this. So the second piece of this tool is say what happens is you're trying to work this out and the brass piece comes out and then there's just a hole left there. Um, well, with either of the, the first tools that I showed you, you couldn't, get the, you couldn't get that out. Well, with this other piece of the tool, um, you can. So what you would do, and I, like I said, I can't show you because this one's not broken, but what would happen is you have this piece, the handle piece from earlier. Well, it has these little slits in here, plus it has some grip. You take this piece, and then you want to slide it into here. Once you have that secure, and then you take this piece and then screw it into the back. And then you just screw that down. And as this pushes, it's pulling this back and spreading this out. So when you put it in, it'll grip to the plastic piece. And then at that point, you just turn and twist till you can pull it out. So that's a neat little tool. Um, this is the only tool that I found that, that will do that if in case you pull out the brass piece, which has happened to me. And I've actually had to like break it out piece by piece to get it out. And that's a nightmare, trust me. One thing I did forget to mention for certain cartridges, you may need this cylinder piece, but um, because I have uh, this white piece, the 1222, um, I don't need the cylinder. So just wanted to let you know, you do get this as well, depending on what type of cartridge you have. So this last one is the one that I'm most excited about. Now this is the late view puller. Now the good thing about this is, as opposed to the other two, the other two are manual only. So you can only use hand tools or your own strength to get this off. This one is either or. You can use hand tools or you can use power tools. That's what makes this thing so awesome. Now, um, full disclosure, I actually reached out to the manufacturer. His name's Brandon. He makes it locally. Really cool guy. He's the inventor of it. Um, I asked him a lot of questions and he helped me out a lot. Um, also, when I did reach out to him, um, he did sell this to me at a discount. So I wanted to make sure you, you were aware of that, but that was all that was discussed. But um, with this, it's a really strong, sturdy tool. This would outlast you compared to the other two. This one is solid. So um, I'm really happy about that. Now, just as a reminder, this one comes with a cylinder as well that you just put in here, depending on what type of cartridge you have. Now, as I said, um, I have the 1222, so I don't need this one because I need these grooves so I can put this to the side. And then this works pretty much as the same concept. It has that little screw that goes into the brass piece, these little grooves that hooks onto the white. So what you wanna do is screw this into the brass piece. Make sure that screw is sticking out just a little bit because it'll line perfectly up as you're screwing this in. You just slide that in there. It's pushing up against the piping. And then here's where the cool part comes into play. You can take a 3 8 ratchet, slide it into here, and then start twisting. And you can do that if you want, because slow and steady is the best way to go. But if you don't want to do that, you can, this is also included, and you can use this, and you can use a power tool. Um, it is suggested that you use a 12 volt instead of an 18 volt power tool, just because he said if there's too much power and you don't take it slow, you have the tendency to rip out the brass piece. So use a 12 volt, preferably something with a variable trigger so you can control how much force you're using. Here, you just slide this into place and then hold on to here and then just back it out. And as you can see, it came right out. So that's it. I'll have links below so you can purchase any of the tools that you want. I'll also have YouTube videos uh, talking a little bit more about the tool. And I'll also link to that YouTube video where I talked about using a tap and die set and a bolt to take out the plastic piece if the brass comes out. So if you like what you saw and you want to support the channel, check out some of my other videos. Take care. Thanks for watching Hindsight 101. Click the subscribe button and select the notification bell to stay up to date.